Hi everyone, it's Neve here and welcome to my art journaling channel. Today we're going to be doing a really quick art journal page using the Collage Collective book from Dina Wakeley. So I'm just starting off in my Dina Wakeley journal, gluing down some collage bits and pieces that I had floating around on my page. And the reason that I decided to do this page was I'd been doing a previous project and you can see I put out too much paint, so I wanted to use up the paint that I had. It was as simple as that. I think this page took about less than half an hour to do all up. Um, but it was just a fun way to sort of, at the end of a um, creating process, I had bits and pieces left over. Instead of wasting them, I just glued them down into my journal and had fun with it. So I've got some bits of vintage text, some pieces of um, deli paper that I've been drawing on. I've got some bits of the Collage Collective that I've torn out from other pages that I've been using and just lots of random stuff that have been around. I'm really enjoying um, drawing my own lines, my own marks on the um, deli paper or tissue paper. It just gives you a really interesting effect. So I'm just using that fuchsia paint that I had and I'm using it on the paintbrush that I had the gel medium on and you can see I've got a it creates almost a glaze over the page so you're not getting an opaque color it sort of spreads it out but you still get that intense color over the background so when I finished that I decided I wanted to do a bit of a ghosting technique so I just got my wet wipe and rubbed off some of the excess paint and because it's sort of got the gel medium in it as well it helps it rub off really really well and you get that color underneath because I didn't seal the page um, with gesso underneath you can see the parts on the page where it didn't have the gel medium from gluing down the collage and that's actually stained the paper so you get this nice effect of where some of the paints removed and some of it hasn't removed so all I decided to do on this page was just to play around with some contrasting colors to get some texture on the page so because I've used the fuchsia one color that goes really well with that is the sky turquoise color so I'm just going in with that on a dot stencil and dotting that round in the background. Then I'm going to go in with the um, a, a large sort of squarey oval shaped one, I think it's called a squoval, a combination of the two, and um, put in some white to add some interest to it. Now you can see my hand furiously going through. Um, my stencils sit next to me in a little drawer and I've got some new stencils that I was really looking forward to using and I've misplaced them. I couldn't find them. I did actually, when I went into my craft room today, find them. They'd fallen down between my desk and, and another desk. Um, but yeah, it was quite frustrating because I had this idea of what I was going to use and then it didn't quite work. So I'm just going in and deliberately choosing where I'm going to put these little um, squares. I'm not doing the entire page. I just want to do little bits and pieces just to add some interest over the page and get that little bit of white back in the page. Because for those people who follow my channel know that I'm very good at filling up my whole page with colour and pattern and I don't often um, leave any white space. So my solution to that is go nuts in the background like I usually do and then go over afterwards and stencil in some white or paint in some white afterwards. And I'm finding that's working a little bit better for me because I'm deliberately actually putting in the colour myself um, rather than just leaving it on the page for me not to splatter or, you know, do something on it that I'm going to have to cover it up anyway. So I've, I'm finding that doing that is helping me somewhat. So that's my huge stack of um, Dina Wakeley stencils that I've just gone through and it's missing quite a few. Um, yes, yeah, so <laughs> I was trying to find those stencils I was talking about. But I did come across this one which I love and I thought I'd do that contrast of that um, fuchsia cheddar and blue which is one of my favorite color combinations so um, I thought just having a bit of the yellow on the page might help it pop somewhat and you can see I didn't put out very much of the yellow paint and used it up so it's quite pale over the background but it just gives enough that you can get a bit of an idea of what's happening so this is a collage collective book if you haven't seen it before it's um, a book that's full of the Dina Wakeley artwork and it comes with two different paperweights in it. It's got a text paperweight um, and then this cardboard weight which is about 180-200 GSM and um, I've used up a lot of the, the paperweight images and I haven't used the cardboard one so it was time to get into those. So I really like this bird image 
and I knew the colours on this page went with the colours of the birds so I thought it was a great combination and it's just a great way to get such a big focal image over your page. The other cool thing about it is because it's designed for um, Dina Wakeley and for her journals you can cut them out and it fits perfectly into these journals you don't have to trim some any off. Because I had the same colours paint range that she obviously uses, um, I like going back in over the top of it and just adding a little bit of extra colour to the page just to give it a little bit of a pop and make it stand out a little bit more. So I'm just going in with the birds and my finger just to add in some extra paint and extra colour to it. Being really, you know, loose with what I'm doing but quite enjoying how it's mixing together. I've also gone back with the white that I had a little bit left there and just mixing it up so I've got that nice um, shading over the background and then just drying it off. Now the good thing about doing that is if you really don't like it you could see some of my paint where it went where I didn't want it so I was able to get a wet wipe and just wipe it off. One of the things I do like doing though is going back over with my stipula or pencil and just outlining the image with the scratchy lines again because it helps me sort of learn where those lines are and how to draw them but it also helps pop the image out from the background once more particularly if you've added more paint over the top again. So this is pretty much the finished page. All I wanted to do was add in some quotes and um, again you can see me going through because all my tissue paper and my stencils are in the one spot. I really should split them up so it's a bit easier to find what I'm looking for. Um, but I came across one of the Dina Wakeley um, collage tissues that had create the world you want be the answer and with all that's happened in the media recently about climate change and different bits and pieces um, that have sort of been bubbling away in my head I thought that was just the perfect quote to sum up this page so I decided to glue it down so I'm just using my matte gel medium to glue that down just be aware though and you can see me being careful around my black line and the stabilo or pencil is water activated so it will um, reactivate that and stain your page um, I don't mind that but if you're worried about it Maybe instead of doing scratchy lines with pencil, use um, a permanent marker or use a paint pen instead and it work exactly the same. So this is a close up of the final page. As I said, it's a really, really quick page and made all that quicker by having the collage collective. I could just cut out a focal image and stick it down on my page. But it was lots of fun to do. Thank you so much for watching and until next time, bye for now.